hey guys welcome back to another vlog in today's video we got tons of really great finds we're gonna be cooking we're gonna be going up to the new house a little thrift shopping and lots of more so if you're interested then please just keep watching hey guys welcome back happy weekend welcome to another vlog it is saturday afternoon and of course i am here at island green one of my favorite spots as you guys know just coming by to really check out and see if there is anything new i am in the little homeware section i literally just arrived so this is my first stop in and i'm just doing my little once over look around I think I hit it big today, you guys. This is a vintage magazine holder. It retails anywhere between $200 to $500. I'm going to insert a photo of it, and I hit the jackpot on this one. I've been eyeing it for a while. This is the third weekend I've been up there, and I saw it, and I just couldn't make the decision to go for it, but I did, and I love it. And so I'm looking around the rest of the store, and I saw these little... Um, room sprays they came in three different scents there was honeysuckle lavender and some other one i forgot but i decided to take a pass on them some of them were really nice but i'm not too good with the strong fragrances so i decided to give a pass on that one and i left them for the next person that came behind um the clothing section was closed today so i wasn't able to get up there i had a late start to my day and it was about one o'clock when i get there when i got there they closed at two so i jumped back over to the um, home decor section and i found these little carafes and i have an idea i'm going to clean them up really nice they are really heavy ceramic and they're oven safe dishwasher safe and all of that stuff but these these ones guys are william sonoma and they are really really good i can use these to make my little gar um, garlic oil blends with the sage and all of that you put it in the oven and i'm going to show you guys in a later video um what i do with those so i scored really well at island green today so i'm still just kind of looking around to see if there are any more little vintage finds for me today but that was it so i did good on to the next stop okay shopping at island green is done you guys i spent a whole 13 dollars i got some really cute things and i'm going to show you guys when i get home and find some comparable items for that and then yeah our day is rounding out really nicely so my next stop I'm gonna go head over to the house the new house and see what the progress is going on with that so let's go to the Grunwall house um yeah the wall is going up you guys check it out that's Nelson he's the one that's in charge of getting this retaining wall and the driveway extension complete look at that all right let's go take a closer look okay so we are here at the new house and this is what's happening so far The boards are going up and Nelson is doing his thing. Ooh, I love it. Really nice. Look at the new paint color on the apartment. Very nice. It's clean. Oh, the railings have been done. Let me take a peek here. The floor has been sealed. Let me know what you guys think of the paint. Yeah, I'm so excited. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's inside. That's not what I came up here for. I just came to check out what's been happening. Oh, look at the tiles, you guys. Very nice. Nice little backsplash action going on here. And so let me go out to the deck and take a look at what's happening here with the retaining wall. Nice. Nice. 
And the railings have been painted. Oh, I am loving the color. If you're interested, the name of the color is a Sherwin William color. It's called Creamy Mushroom and it's from the Home Depot. This is what we have so far. All right, we're going to walk up to the top of the driveway to see if the back of the house has been painted yet. So let's go take a peek. See what's happening up there. Ooh. It is a walk, you guys. It's a walk. Okay. So let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love the color. And there's Miguel on the tank. It looks good. Love it, love it, love it. Let me take a look from another angle. Now that's what's happening down below. Let's take a peek upstairs. I don't think there's much going on up here. We've been popping in and out well I've been popping in and out and we just want to basically get the apartment finished remember the color shades that we chose you guys this is the creamy mushroom that we went with and so yeah we are upstairs this I believe these are the baseboards for the flooring once we get to that part so we're gonna get that situated those are the exterior lights that we had chosen a few weeks back oh my gosh excuse me I'm out of breath and that's where we are so far this is a look from the first floor of the main house and once they come around let me see if I can step out here once they come around with the paint to the front of the house, the railings on the top level are going to be painted as well. So, and these glass doors. This was the old glass door that was downstairs in the apartment. This is not staying, but it's just placed here to keep the rain and wind and everything out until we get the actual doors. So, eventually, we're going to switch all of these out, all the French glass doors, and we're going to put in... The plain glass doors like this one huh. this is getting real you guys I mean we are we're doing our stuff our stuff we're doing everything timing is coming along great and so maybe my deadline is not so far off after all hopefully we'll be spending Christmas here fingers crossed but you know you can tell there's still quite a bit of work to do but it's looking good and everything is going along really well all right let me watch my step i have to pop back inside i'm just stepping on a piece of plyboard plank i don't want to lose my balance and fall so we are back inside and you see that bedroom before I love the way the plain glass door looks. This is the plain glass door here, and these are the French doors here. Let me know what you guys think. Should we keep the French doors, or should we switch them out to the plain front glass doors? Let me know down in the comments below. And this is our bathroom. It's still in its raw shape, raw form. The only exception is there is a window, but everything else, this is kind of like a storeroom. Those are the little wood bar railings that we used for the railings upstairs. And throughout both houses, um, we have a washer dryer unit that we are gonna be building a separate little shed outside of the house on the opposite end on that side of the house um, as a washroom. And I took the measurements I got one of the windows came in. We had custom ordered some storm windows. So one is in. Our tiles are laying here. 
And what else? What else can I fill you in? There's really not much going on up here. We still have to get the breaker panel upgraded for um, 40 amp, 40 amp electricity because of the stove that we are going to be installing. So that needs to be done also. We are going to also in that area down on the floor and on that back wall is where we're going to be putting a split unit as well and possibly closing up that window. And this is the other bedroom. Lights have been installed. So everything is rounding off in here. Um, let me see if I can squeeze in here. So what's going to be happening over here? I think we are going to be installing a sliding closet unit right here, but I'm not sure because the configuration of the room is very, very small. So we don't know, the closets are already here, but we don't know if we're gonna do the full length of the closet or just like a little pocket closet right here, like the one that's in the rental unit. I believe the room measurements, I don't know. Let me not say because I don't know. I want to say, let me see if I can walk it through and see if I can get a rough idea. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine feet across by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's say the size of the room is nine by 10. And the other room on the other side is a little bit smaller, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is where we are. Whew. I can't contain my excitement sometimes. I cannot wait until we are able to move in and start decorating. I hope we can like get all this stuff done before hurricane season kicks in. We have two more weeks before the official start of hurricane season and I'm very, very anxious. I wanna get all of this cleaned up, which we were supposed to do today. But I told my husband, you know, let's just skip that because then we're gonna to have to do it again when more stuff gets pulled out. So we'll just leave it and do it all in one sweep. Right there is our septic system. And I love all the trees, so I told them not to cut down my trees or damage them. They are all ficus trees and I just love them. I want them to stay forever. They provide shade and a nice gentle rustle of the leaves when the wind is blowing. What else do we have? Okay, that's it for downstairs. I love this kitchen, this galley style kitchen. It is very long. I measured it the other day. I forgot how long I said it was, 16 feet? I think so, 16 feet. And I'm gonna be indulging in this counter space once everything gets set up. So on this side over here, we're gonna be doing our sink. And we have a few outlets out here for hooking up appliances and whatnot. And on this back wall, we have our stove top as well as the refrigerator so it's a lot of space we're working with it's a good space it's different from the kitchen we have now but i am gonna like it thoroughly you know once you're in the kitchen you have a great view straight ahead of outside so imagine this view with the plain glass doors tv is going to be mounted on that wall we're going to have like a cloud couch situation right over there i am super super excited we got the first Piece, the first section of our cloud couch from RH Restoration Hardware. I'm super excited about that. And so it's going to be really, really good. It's not a huge, huge house, but it is perfect for us, for our family. I really like this little window situation here. There is not a view of anything but a huge boulder that's outside that we had to kind of build the house around. But I just love the fact that it allows a lot of natural light to come through. Um, they wanted to close it out, but I fought that battle and I won. Hoo -hoo. And so I'm going to have a ton, a ton of cabinet space, storage space that I'm not going to overload with a bunch of pots and pans and everything. I'm going to have like 
you know, very minimal amount of appliances and whatnot, just what you need. And of course, I'm going to have a lot of counter space over here. Wait until you guys see what I have planned for the backsplash. It's going to be very, very simple and understated. And this is what everything is looking like. We're still up in the air on this little breakfast nook area here. As you guys can see, the yellow cords that are coming from the ceiling there, I want to close it up and just not put any lights there. The plan was to put the tiny little recessed lights in there, but it is too shallow because apparently there's some sort of beam that goes across that won't allow for the little recess lights to go on and then the electrician suggested pendants but i don't want pendant lights hanging there it's going to intrude my view and who wants a little light dangling over their head when they're trying to eat so he's trying to figure out something i've already decided that i don't want the lights there so we can just push those little cords up into the ceiling for future if we need to or if I change my mind but for right now we have the recess lighting right here and right here as well as right on the outside of it so that's plenty of lighting for anybody that wants to be eating at the countertop I've already picked out my sink and I've already picked out my faucet so we just have to go and pick those up at the Home Depot, hopefully sooner rather than later. And the beautiful floor tiles that are going to be installed upstairs. And this one was originally for upstairs. They look so much alike though. But anyway, I don't know. We actually use these in the apartment downstairs, so we have a few boxes left of these. And we also have a few boxes left of, well, these are still a lot. These were also supposed to be used up here in this space for the flooring. However, you know me, I saw something else, I changed my mind. So I had my husband to let the guys go ahead and use some of those tiles downstairs in the apartment. And so, I don't know, this is the actual tile. It's like a porcelain tile, you guys can hear that. So I don't know if it'll be enough to do like this entire kitchen and living room space. I doubt it, but if not, I have a backup tile. We'll see what happens with that. And what else? Okay, so let's head upstairs and see what's happening. I also, I love, love, love the height of my ceilings up here. This is what I'm calling the foyer, which leads to upstairs. And I have a piece of, um, it's not art. Well, you'll see it later, but I have something that... I want to install right here on this side wall. This is originally where I wanted to put a huge window, like the window up the top of the stairs, but you know, I lost that one. My husband said no, and so that's what it was. But I do have an idea for this little section of the wall right here. I don't know, I would have to see when I get the piece to set it up here and see if it'll work or either right here. This is our light switch for the light that should be going up there. I also have an idea of the fixture I wanted. That's the big window that leads to the master bedroom. This is the view of the living room kitchen space from the foyer. And so let's go ahead and go upstairs. Oh, and I do have something that's going to be going up these stairs. We're also, I told you guys that we, we want to keep the natural wood color of the steps. So we're doing some research on different finishes and stains and polyurethane because I've been sampling some pieces of natural wood with different stains. And although, although it says that they are clear, it still turned the color of the natural wood like a color like this 
like a brownish orange and I hate it. I am still researching, trying to find a polyurethane. I've watched a couple of YouTube channels and one of the girls said that she used on her hardwood floors to keep the natural white oak finish that she used a matte polyurethane, I think. I, I believe that's what she said, Sue. So I'm gonna, of course, sample it because I really, really love the color of the natural wood. And so we're also trying to um, make our handrail also that will go along with this. I love the texture of it. I love the different nicks in the staircase. And so I feel like I'm rambling on and on. But anyway, let's head upstairs. Oh, I need to count how many steps there are because I have something really cool that we are gonna be installing on the staircase. And so that's one of the reasons I came up here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 steps. All right, I've got my count. I hope I don't forget it. I can always reference today's video. And from the stairs, middle of the staircase, there's our master bedroom. So let's go back, continue walking up the stairs. And here we are. This is the entrance from the top of the stairs. Okay, this is the foyer. I love this little section of the house. I already chose the light fixture that I want from right here, that I want for right here. And then what else do we have? Not much to see from up here. Oh. The glass door, we are also going to be, oh, I hate to say it, but we're gonna be taking down a section of this wall just to extend the track of the glass door to its full length. Because when the glass door closes, it does not close all the way. There's like this crazy centerpiece, but yeah, you'll see when we get to that. And of course, master bedroom. What else do I have to report? We are going to finish our plumbing in here. We are going to be stalling, installing our fixtures as well as you've seen the mirror that goes here before. We are also going to be changing this, not changing it. We're going to be sanding it down and painting it black and this is going to stay the same. We're going to be taking out this and this and putting in matte black. This is going to be a little shower mount area for shampoo, shower gels, shaving stuff. And I think I may even put in a little bench situation right along here. And of course, bird's eye view. I'm going to rename this house the glass house. No, the treetop glass house is what I am going to be calling this house because I feel like I'm up in the clouds surrounded by trees and I love it, love it, love it. All right, so we got our lights going, simple, cute, and also our little walk-in closet. We've got the lights going on in here. And this closet space, let's see how big it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by six. Yeah, so that's a good space that we're working with. And this is what it looks like from up top. And one more thing that we're going to be doing in here this wall space is just looking so good you know there's something about a good coat of white paint that just makes everything look mm, good so this part all of this going all the way around is going to be plastered and painted white so this entire frame so picture all of this, this bright white, clean white. And the frame on the shower, 
I already asked Miguel about it. And all of this is also going to be painted black all the way around. The entire silver chrome is going to be gone and it's going to be black. And so that's why I'm still up in the air about the paint, the tiles. I wanna paint these tiles white so bad, but I'm always up in the air because they look so pretty. I love the natural color and the little flecks of white and browns and creams and beiges. I love it, but I think it'll be okay. I don't wanna ruin such a good tile. Look at that, it's beautiful. And then we have another recessed light that's going to go in there. And so this is it. All of this has to be grouted. The light has to be installed. The frame is going to be painted around the entire frame of the shower. So this is all going to be black. And I think I probably will need the tiles the same because it just gives it a little bit of contrast from the stark white of the room. So anyway, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And I may even wanna paint the frame of this window black also. But like I said before, we have to wait and see how everything is going. I've got our handles for, ooh, I can't get it open, for the drawers right here. Is it stuck? Hang on, you guys. Let me see what's happening here. Wait a minute. Did they close my drawers permanently? Hmm. I think so, but I don't know why. I have to check with my husband on that one. That's weird. I need my space in here. So I don't know why they would have drilled it shut, screwed it shut. I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll find out about that later. So, yeah. That's where we are. Loving it. Look how that looks, guys. Ooh, it is giving. It is giving. I love it. Oh, do you see how the inside frame of this is black? This is what I'm going for over here. I want all of that painted black and also maybe the trim of the mirror as well hi guys <laughs> yes that is what is happening here and so yes look at it look at the view look at the view look at the view initially when i first got this place i was obsessed with having a glass house like I did not want this wall here. I wanted it to be all glass. Mind you, I did not have the budget for anything. I did not know anything about construction and building and anything. I told the guy, which we've gone through a lot of builders, that, oh, I don't want a wall here. Just make it glass so you can see from the bedroom into the bathroom. And I was going on and on. I had pictures from magazines and all kinds of crazy stuff. <laughs> And I was talking about, but you get into it and you do your research and you learn a lot that there is something called the structure of a house and you cannot play with it. You can't have everything glass because the house will fall down. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a journey. It's been a learning experience and I'm loving every single bit of it. And we have come very, very far in a long period of time, but we are winding down, getting closer to the end of it. And I'm very grateful for everything that we've come through and how far we've come all together. So you recognize this view. You've seen it a million times in all the videos. And what else? Everything else is done as far as electricity. All our Work is done here, I think. I don't know. Let me don't say that because I'm not sure. And we've got our lights. Simple and nice. I'm so glad I did not go with the idea for the chandeliers that I wanted because I think it would have probably taken away from the 
aesthetic that I was looking for. Not to say that it wouldn't have looked good, but my design style has changed quite a few times, but I think I have found the direction I'm going in. And so that being said, this is where we are so far. Whew. It's been a time, guys. Okay, so that should conclude this part of today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying all our little highlights and updates concerning the new built construction house. Like I said, it's a process. Everything takes time, you know, especially when I keep making changes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm done with all the changes. So we're just doing everything that we can to finish up before hurricane season kicks in, before Christmas gets here, because that's my goal. I just want to be in my new home by Christmas with my family and just start the new year off really, really well. So keep our fingers crossed that everything continues to go as smoothly as possible. We are well on our way, and I am very, very excited about all the changes that have been happening. And so, you guys, it's the end of my day. I'm going on to the next spot. This is where we are. I love, love, love sitting out here on my front porch. It is so relaxing. The breeze is so nice. The neighborhood is so quiet. And I just enjoy my time out here. I can't wait until it becomes a permanent situation. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let's go on to the next stop of my day. I am going to head out right now. Head back into town. And finish up the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. because they're gonna have to be front and back. I'm gonna insert a photo to show you guys what we chose. So all these glass doors, there's one here, there are two here, one over there, and one is going on the bathroom doorway right here. And it's the same door front that's here, that's going here. So our bathroom door will be glass, just like the rest of everything else and it's gonna be really cute, really cute. You're gonna see, and this is what I was telling you guys about the glass door and why we have to extend it out because at some point when it was being installed, 
Um, the person who installed it decided to cut it down. And so when it's completely closed, there's this big section in here. So we have to extend the tracking all the way over. I think it's just about two inches away from the window border right there. We're going to extend it all the way out. That way when the glass door is closed, there's just a seamless line throughout and not this little gap right here. So if I'm laying in my bed and I want to enjoy the sunrise from bed, this is what I'm going to be seeing. Let me, wait, let me open the glass door here so you can understand what I'm saying. So yeah, like I was saying, if you're laying in bed and you wake up, this is what you see. I want it seamless. I want an uninterrupted view of outside. So we are going to be extending the door frame down that way. So the window, the door will be open all the way out. If you get what I mean. Okay. I think I have updated you guys on everything. So the door handles are going to be in. I am also up in the air as to whether or not I am going to put blinds on the windows right here or leave it open and I'm definitely going to be doing curtains I'm just trying to figure out now do I want brass gold curtain rods or matte black like the door handles everything has to be tied in completely I don't want anything looking mismatched and all of that but you know it'll happen we just have to wait till that time comes and I also have a really cool idea for the back wall you guys just have to wait and see i was dead set on what i wanted before but i thought of something else the tv is going to be going on that wall for sure had we not had these two windows here we would have been putting the bed this way so that if we're in bed we can watch tv this way but my aesthetic does not call for it to come from that angle and the headboard that we have is kind of wide so it'll be blocking off the window it just won't look good so our bed is going to be against the back wall so we're watching tv <laughs> from the bed facing out the tv is going to be that way i don't know how that's going to work out it's kind of awkward but it is what it is that's the way it has to be so i'm probably going to put a little sitting area right here so if we want to watch tv we are able to do so or we may not put a tv in here at all and just have the tv mounted out here on this wall so we'll see we'll see i'm sure this will be changing again but that is what it is for right now and yeah you guys my cloud couch it's gonna be serious it is so good it is so freaking good i love it i'm gonna show you guys a picture of it and look at the view from the bedroom window crazy i have so much light coming in from everywhere i love it love it love it love it so yeah like i was telling you guys before i got sidetracked i have a really simple really pretty um cozy idea for this back wall um but i won't tell you if i tell you now i'll have to kill you so that's it guys i have to get out of here i have work to do at home i have things to do it is very very hot outside it's about 80 something degrees i think the car said it was 84 degrees i don't know but the humidity the humidity is not letting up you guys i am wearing all white today i thought i was like ahead of the game putting on all white today let me show you i'm gonna switch the camera around so this is the outfit for today i'm wearing like a little crop top cotton t-shirt and i have some wide leg linen drawstring pants really cute really cute don't look at my shoes i have on my mom's shoes today <laughs> but anywho let's go guys i have got to go i have work to do i'm gonna go do some laundry and get out of here and that's it for today maybe i might see you later maybe not all right time to go Ivan. Oh.
Wow. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. Like that. Awesome. Yeah, easy, actually. This is really nice. Choy. All of it. One. Good eats. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Yeah. That. Is this all bok choy? What's that one? Is that like some sort of lettuce? Yeah, it's supposed to be a lettuce that grows well here. Oh, wow. I think I, uh... That is pretty. I need to put it in a bigger pot because it should be a darker green. And what are these? Like some sort of cabbage? Uh, collards. Is it? Collards. Collards. Wow. To, uh... That's it. Like oh, cabbage. wow. I just learned someone told me you can that the uh, leaves are good to eat. The sorrow leaves? Yeah, which I never knew. Well, there yeah. we go. We'll be trying yeah, something new are, today. Kinda... So when it blooms, does it actually look like a hibiscus or really no? You too. people wow we are on walk i don't i know how it is. yeah some people don't have people say no i know how to do that mm -hmm. we do that no problem you do good work yeah. very good we made it to the laundry guys and look what happened i made it just in time it is pouring rain so anyway Let's wrap up today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It's been really fun. Stay tuned for the next update. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. If you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. So until then, take care, stay safe, be well. And always remember, if there's anything in this world that you can be, always be kind. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Love to have them all crying mm -hmm. Gonna be sweet day